Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Subsistence Traveling. I'm your host, Jay. Today we're talking about six nuclear power stocks to buy now. Okay, and these are going to be running hot. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a little time to look at the disclaimer. All right, so here's the case for nuclear power. It's a very clean source of energy. An increased demand for electricity. Strong demand expected in the Asia Pacific region. Okay, and um, I know we've been hearing a lot about renewable energy, uh, solar, wind, but um, solar and wind can be parts of your your energy grid but it cannot be what we, we have what's called baseline energy and as of right now your baseline energy can either be some sort of fossil fuels whether it be natural gas coal or nuclear power okay Re um hydropower um solar and wind cannot be the backbone of your your um your power infrastructure okay and um so here are some concerns with nuclear power these are just some things you have to take into consideration um this right here is a very speculative but i wouldn't say speculative it's more of a cyclical a cyclical industry and um, if you understand the cycles, you know we're approaching a, a commodity bull cycle. However, um, there is a degree of speculation involved. And when you're speculating, there are certain things you have to take into consideration. The political and regulatory environment regarding nuclear, there's always going to be concerns, you know, regarding the safety and also regarding, I guess, the, pro pro the proliferation into um, weapons. You know, when you're talking about war, fear, and, and, and all, things of that nature, you know, and, you know, people always shy away from nuclear power because, you know, of the, the possibilities of, you know, countries developing um, nuclear power into you know something else so the political and regulatory environment is very strict when it comes to nuclear power so that's something you have to take into consideration however uh, recently we've heard from uh, president biden how he wants to um he wants to more production and exploration for uh, nuclear power so you know ever since he made that announcement these stocks have been off to the races you know so and, and i think any government that's really interested in in cleaner energy would definitely give um nuclear power a try you know there's plenty of new technology that has evolved and, and, and you know and things of that nature right now uranium the uranium price is below the cost of production currently the the uranium Price is around twenty eight dollars or so. Um, on average, it, it, it takes around it, most companies break even around fifty dollars, you know. So, you know, and 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 the price has dropped. It's been over ten years since um, the price has crashed. So, you know, many companies, many companies have had to increase debt loads or either you know sell additional shares in order to survive. But, you know, being that this is a very cyclical, a very cyclical industry, there are few companies that, you know, once you handle your balance sheet good, you know, you'll, you'll definitely survive. Um, um, I, I ten, over 10 years ago, there were hundreds of companies mining for uranium. Now it's, it's only a handful of companies mining for uranium. So that's that's one positive you know, they're not much uh, companies to pick from. So when the price prices do go up, you know, I guess the, the few stocks that exist will really, really move. All right, so 
these are the, the latest price I have for uranium right now. It's trading at 2730. That's US dollars per pound. The average break-even price is around $50 per pound, give or take, for most uh producers. Uh, you know, I guess some have may have less and some some may have more, but on, on average, the break-even point is around $50. Okay. All right, so as always, the criteria for selecting these stocks, we look at profitability, valuation, liquidity and solvency, dividends, and the fundamentals of the sector and slash industry. Um, currently, most of these companies aren't profitable. Um, like I said, um, it's been <laughs> years since the, the price has crashed below, way below the cost of production. So a lot of these companies right now have... Um, cut production you know they've they've cut expiration cut production you know or you know just at, at a standstill so you know uh most of them aren't profitable but uh you know like i said the good ones remain with liquidity and they remain solvent okay and right now with all that's going on with with like i said the the electrification of our economy the um digitization the demand for electricity has increased I, I believe nuclear nuclear power is is is, is going to take off right, so the first stock we look at here is chemical ticker symbol ccj priced at $16.10 price to book of 1.6 pays a dividend of 0.38 percent i'm surprised that they pay a dividend but they do um, excellent valuation. I've been looking at this one for a while. Um, this is a Canadian company. This is basically your blue chip um, uranium mining stock. Uh, they mine the uranium. They refine it. They fabricate it. Uh, this is like the, the most popular uranium mining stock. This would be the, your blue chip play if, if that's what you're looking for. The safest most recognized name um this would be it chemical next is uranium energy ticker symbol uec priced at two dollars and 21 cents price book of 5.8 and no dividend okay this is a company that focuses mostly on expiration expiration and production um you know um they have a lot of projects here in the U.S. in Texas. I think maybe Wyoming. Uh, they do have projects in the in the U.S. I'm not sure if they're incorporated in Canada or the U.S. Most of these companies are incorporated in Canada, but um, but it, like I said, th this particular company has projects in the U.S. Um, you know, like I said, the, the valuation shows that a lot of people is interested in the stock the stock has tripled over the past year um you know it's a low dollar price so I, you know I've, i picked up a few shares a couple days ago um yeah this is definitely um excellent balance sheet and i, I think um this is one a company that will definitely capitalize on on you know the upcoming bull market in, in uh uranium Next is Denison Mines, ticker symbol DNN, priced at 99 cents. Price to earnings, well, no price to earnings. Price to book of 3.7, and it pays no dividend. Okay, and this, this is another, they have, a, I think the market cap is around between 700 to 800 million for this one. Well, let me just um, double check. But um, as far as uranium is concerned, that may even be a big market cap when you're talking about the uranium market. Um, nevertheless, it's a, it's a recognized, a widely recognized name in the field. And um, yeah, it, it should do very, very well. Let me just um, take a quick look at what the uh, market cap is. All right, so the market cap, oh yeah, yeah, so it's 704 million, 
Okay, but it's a widely recognized name. All right, so we have Lightbridge, ticker symbol LTBR, priced at six dollars and eighty-five cents. Price a book of three. Okay, and this this company is more of a, a technology company. Uh, they provide services to you know companies with nuclear reactors. The services that they provide, the technology helps the reactors remain economical and also it deals with the safety of the reactors you know um I, as we go forward you know many people will many stakeholders will be concerned regarding the safety um of these these reactors and and so lightbridge is one of these companies that are providing different services and different technologies that that um meets the demand of making sure the reactors are economical and also that they're safe. Okay, so this is definitely one to look at. There's been a lot of interest. This is more of a small cap, um, almost like a startup kind of thing, but um, there's been a lot of interest. You know, I, I wanted you guys to, to be exposed to this kind of um, way of playing nuclear, nuclear energy versus just the, the um, uranium miners. Okay, so this is definitely something you guys, I would encourage you guys to look at. All right, so back to the uranium miners, we have energy fuels, ticker symbol UUUU, priced at $5.24, price a book of 4.5. Okay, and um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a US based um, company. Let me just um, take a quick look. Um, but yeah, the, the lot of interest in the stock, um, decent balance sheet, uh, definitely something that will move it, but it's been moving. <laughs> it's been moving. Um, yeah, I, I, I encourage everyone to, you know, just do your research and, um, you know, snap up these stocks before they, they go. I just want to make sure, oh, they're, yeah, they're, they're based in Colorado. Yeah. So they're a, a U.S. based, um, uranium miner. Next is Next Gen Energy, ticker symbol NXE, priced at $3.23, priced a book of 11. <laughs> wow, that's a um, crazy valuation. Um, I believe this is a Canadian company. Um, you know, like I said, the interest is there. This is a... a a mining. I just want to make sure it's a. Let me just take, yeah. So um, they're based in Canada. Um, they they pr primarily deals with um exploration and production as well as development. Okay, so this one, you know, if the price price of uh the commodity shoots up, the stock will shoots up. I mean, consider the stock uh, as a leveraged way of you know playing the price of the commodity. All right, so here are some other companies to look at, okay? Um, you have UR Energy, ticker symbol URG, and this this is a, a decent company. Um, it's like the, the share is on like a, a little, it's trading up about um, a little bit over a dollar, and um, the balance sheet seems fine. Um, one of the things you have to, like I said earlier, is that, um, you know, a lot of these companies have had to either take on additional debt or to um, provide uh, additional shares or, you know, do secondary offerings or things of that nature just to uh, maintain through, throughout this period because it's been over 10 years since the, the price of uranium crashed to where, to below the, the price of, um, the price of production. Okay, so UR Energy would be something I'm thinking about buying. It's only a dollar. I'm thinking about buying a few shares just to, you know, it's, it's something to speculate with. BWX Technologies. Again, this is another technology play. Uh, they provide uh, technology um, that deals with, um, you know, like I said, making the um, reactor safe, making them economical 
Uh, they provide different services to the uh, companies that um, that work in the, the nuclear sector. This is another. Um, they're actually a profitable company. Um, you know, most of these companies are currently not profitable. BWX Technologies is actually profitable. The only reason I didn't put it on the list is because I did not like the balance sheet. However, what I can say is that they are paying down debt. You know, they're paying down debt and their their revenues are increasing. So this that that could be something you may want to look into because like I said, the, the, the regulatory environment for, with nuclear is such that any technology or service that will make it more economical or you know can can improve safety will will you know make a difference. So you know definitely it's 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 been a hot stock. It's just like I said, I, I I wouldn't recommend it with that balance sheet. But um, if you're a trader, hey, it's something to look at. You got to do your own due diligence. We have Centris Energy, ticker symbol LEU. Uh, another one, this particular company has more liabilities than assets. And, um, you know, that's definitely not a company I would look, look at at all. But it's been, the stock has been moving <laughs> higher, so... You know, like I said, you you know, when it's a lot of, uh, I guess, printing and or funny money going around, you know, it, it has to go somewhere. Last but not least, we have Exelon. Exelon is a utility company. They're the, the largest, um, they're the largest power generator in the U.S. Um, very diversified um, energy producer, um, transmitter and, and generator. Uh, they use a, they have a lot of nuclear power plants, but they also have a lot of you know of everything else you know, natural gas fired plants, solar, wind. All they have, all forms of energy. Um, I think Exelon would be an excellent utility in a port. Well, it 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 was in my portfolio, you know. I sold my shares, but um, yeah, this is it's an excellent um way to play the you know i guess a, a safe way of of playing the nuclear um the nuclear trend all right so uh i want to thank you guys for watching i hope that you guys like share and subscribe to the channel stay tuned for more videos i hope i was able to say something that was useful and as i always say peace to all